Christian Fraser here, Swedes Kendama's legend, and I'm here to finally present to you the Christian Fraser legend model. So happy to be unboxing this for you guys. I'm gonna really break it down and tell you what this Kendama is really all about, what it means to me, and then you guys will have them. You can shred them, and we're finally there. It's been a long time coming since MKO, the batch zero. I appreciate all the support, MKO, for the first batch, but this is the official batch one release. We're here, finally made it. So let's get into it, let's break it down. Starting off with the packaging, I love this box. It is just classy and clean, reminiscent of Japanese whiskey boxes. The Japanese paper, all the printing, the embossing, it's just perfect. You got the front, break down the kendama around the corner, a little message for anyone that buys one. You can check that out. And there you go, I mean, it's clean, it's to the point. You got the, the window slit showing off just enough of what's inside. Everything you ever need in this box. And here it is, the batch one Christian Fraser legend model, the decade model, the 10 year Kendama. I'm so stoked on it, but let's check out what's in the box first. I'm excited about this stuff. You know you have your classic sweet sticker, tutorial on the back, everything you need to know about Kendama. You have your extra string and bead way down in there. Comes with an extra spinner, oh, it's the best. But we have stickers as well, really excited about these. The stickers are all my old Pro Model seals, throwing it back to 2012 with the white and gold Sweets logo. Then you have the totem from 2014, you have the stripes from 2016, and then you have the 10 for 2018, 10 years of my Kanama journey. And you have the same stickers of the actual Kanamas for my Pro Models. It's very cool to see them all together, and I'm stoked on how these came out. But let's get into what really matters. Let's get rid of this stuff. So I spent a year and a half really digging into the design of this thing to really think about what would make a Kanama the most optimized, the most honed, straight out of the box, good for every trick at all times. So we'll start with the Ken. It's reminiscent of the Sweets Prime, just everything's boosted up a little bit, and the best addition is the new balance bevel. Right on the bottom, base cup hole, you know, you take away weight from the bottom, put weight in the Serato, you get your lunar machine. But the balance bevel is a little unique in its shape, and it is very smooth, and I think it is just a proper way to get a nice base cup hole in there. It's real clean and classy, and just fits well with the shape. So really excited about that. Also, the Kanama is broken down. You have three different woods just in the can itself. Of course, you have your maple spike for your sturdiness, your cleanliness. It just looks the best, sounds the best. As you move up, you have a custom Serato. You have maple in the bottom to keep your gunslingers honed, keep them nice and smooth. But you have a Wenge stripe right in the middle. It's taking a bunch of extra weight, putting it in the Serato, so you just have the nicest landing lunars ever doing backflips, double backflips, hey, triple backflips. The most lunar honed Kanama out there, and it just feels great. And to top it all off, Beach is the most classic Kanama wood out there. It breaks in the best. So putting it on top, making sure all your stalls break in, it is just gonna be the best. Everything's cool up until here, but this is the coolest. This Tama is something I really thought about for a long time. How do you make a spherical wooden ball a little more optimized in how it's gonna work and how it's gonna function. So your classic Kanama ball is solid, all the weights kind of distributed everywhere, and you have the center of gravity right in the middle, and can flip in all different directions. This is a little bit different. It's composed of four different woods, and we'll start with the middle with the functional important piece. We have a Wenge stripe right in the middle, so a majority of the weight in the Tama is going to the middle, so the center of gravity is still there, but when this thing is flipping, a normal sphere could kind of flip in all 360 degrees, all directions. This Tama will end up flipping more like a disc or a coin, so when the ball is flying through the air and flipping, it's naturally gonna wanna come straight down to where the hole is. So you're getting all those clutch spikes when you need them. So you have all the weight in the middle, you have cherry to take away weight, so the weight can focus right here, then walnut on top to take away a little bit more weight, and it's, there's a visual tracker. But then the best part on the bottom, under all this paint is still beech wood. Beech wood, like I said, the most classic Kanama wood out there. It breaks in the best by far. So we're even able to get the beech wood vertical. If anyone that has a batch zero from MKO, the bevel's broken in a little bit weird, but right now this breaks in like a beauty. Check out this broken in one I have. It is just the best. So on top of all that, you still gotta throw some paint on there. Get 
a nice whiskey coat around everything, a nice brown with a little bit of sparkle in it, just enough, and then capping it off with an off-white on the bottom to cover up that beach and really give you that strong tracking. All of these features in this Kendama really just take every bit of design you can and optimizes it to the highest level. To me, this is the future of Kendama design. I think things are gonna to start to be pushed farther and farther out from here to get even more complex and really think about how we can manipulate wood to have the most honed product possible for everyone. I'm so excited to present the Christian Fraser Decade Mod, the Legend Mod to everyone. I'm so glad it is finally here. I really appreciate all the support I've had from so many people in the community and Sweets Kanamas in the past 10 years. Um, thank you for being on this journey with me and I cannot wait for another 10 years. Peace.